What's going on, folks? So uh, Diddy uh, put up a video today apologizing for, you know, what occurred in the Cassie video. Said he was disgusted by himself then, and he's disgusted by himself now. Said he got counseling, got help, um, asked God for forgiveness. And, um, you know, basically, in a nutshell, said that, you know, he's not asking for an apology from or forgiveness, um, but he, he wanted to publicly apologize and, and say sorry for what occurred in that video. The interesting thing about this, and I don't know if, how many of you have ever uh, been involved in a domestic relationship, domestic violence relationship, or you were a child and, and saw your mother or your dad go through it. At the end of the day, um, there's so many perspectives. Like imagine a child um, being around that and seeing that growing up and having to be in a battery shelter, having to go to, um, you know, the, the mom ends up leaving the the, the man or the, or the man leaves up leaving, leaving the woman, which we don't do enough talking about domestic abuse for women. Um, it's it just really just interesting how how you'll have so many people saying either why did you stay too long or why did you leave and and and, and not let that person get help or, um, you know, let things just improve. But unless you're in the shoes of, of any of these individuals, you just don't you don't know how you will react or respond. I mean, we we see so many times and and definitely, you know, domestic domestic violence is not something that just isn't happening in the black community. It's happening in every community. Um, you know, I think a couple of years back it was like a an exec or owner who um, snatched the phone from his his wife or something and hit her. Um, there's been Dana White repeatedly slapped his uh, his wife and his mom said he has a history of treating women that way. Um, I just think in our in our society uh, we have to call it out on both sides. We have to call it out in every um, different industry, and it needs to be demonized at all times. I see Diddy being demonized, which he should be, for what he did in that video. Um, but I also want to see other folks that are doing the same thing demonized as well. So the thing is, you have to understand, at the end of the day, he only really has to ask for forgiveness from, from the people, um, that the one that he did it to, and God. Um, I mean, everyone else, uh, they can say, you know, we're not forgiving you and you're, you're this, that, and the third. Uh, but a lot of you don't recall out those individuals in your own family. A lot of you are in relationships right now um, where this is occurring and your children are seeing this. Um, and, and, and Or men, you are in a relationship uh, with a woman and, and, she, and your kids are seeing this. You know, you have to think to yourself is you have to look at your own lives. And I think sometimes we get so caught up in celebrity lives that we overlook our own lives of what are we calling out in our own lives? Are you calling out the uncle? Are you calling out the aunt? Are you calling out um, the friends or the family members? Are you calling out the toxic friends that are men or women? Are you calling that out or are you only focus on what's trending and calling it out on that regard? If you can't take care of home, if you can't clean up your own front door, uh, sweep around your own front door, uh, you shouldn't really be speaking on other people's situations. So at the end of the day, whatever happens with Diddy is going to happen with Diddy. Uh, but you have to look at what happens at your address. You have to look at what happens in your own relationship, right? You have to look at what's happening with your own kid's life and figure out how to address that uh, and go from there. Um, honestly, I don't think this apology is going to do anything um, because court of public opinion They've already canceled Diddy and then the other allegations of, of, of things that potentially have happened. There is no coming back from this. Um, we have um, we have seen uh, Diddy demonized, uh, rightfully so. Um, and, and many have said that his career is over. Everything he has built is over, is done. But then on the flip side, we'll see a Dana White um, who slapped his wife repeatedly and according to his mom and other folks in his family, um, has repeatedly been, um, allegedly aggressive and abusive in relationships. And he is still have a, has a career and nothing will happen to his career. He'll still, uh, generate money, make money. 
um, and no one will demonize him. So in our community, we do need to demonize uh, when we see men or women doing things like this, but we also got to call out in other communities as well um, and hold it to the same level. Um, and I don't think we do that. I, I think, you know, we've every day we've been hearing about Diddy, rightfully so. Things that Diddy has done, rightfully so. But we have not heard about Epstein. We have not heard who's on that client list. We have not heard uh, who attended uh, those events. We have not heard the dealings. All we hear is that his black book is going on auction for millions of dollars. The fact that that hasn't been turned over as evidence is just blowing my mind, right? We haven't heard all the connections of Weinstein, Weinstein had with, with all the folks that we know. We don't, we, we, ain't, we, ain't, we ain't hearing about that stuff, but we are hearing about Diddy every day. And that's the thing you have to understand is that these websites, as long as they can find a story that can tear down any of us, that is going to generate tons of income. But when something happens in their community or other communities, we do not see the same outrage and the same um, folks being demonized. We actually see their career even moving to the next level. 